presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just had, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. prowling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. And you should hear my grandson growl. We're going to get him on soon. He can growl, man, big time. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need to accept... You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. That's a dynamite card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 190, Nasdaq's down 141, S&P's off three and a half, gold contract up seven dollars thirty cents, trading at nineteen forty-five an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, 24 dollars 86 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck and a half, buck 98, 98 dollars two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 16 ticks, trading 120.01. The 30 year off one full point plus seven ticks at 143.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 70 ticks, trading at 99.821. Euro is, excuse, sorry folks, excuse me. Euro is 108. The yen is at 124.38, and the British pound is trading at 130 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we'll bring up the SPY first. What you're going to see out here is that you get a market that tried to get the higher price, can't handle it. That's the bottom line. You know, you had the high of yesterday. Well, Wednesday, you had the high volume low, 106. Yesterday, you go higher with 78 sideways. Today, it tries to get into that high. The high of yesterday was at 450.6069. And today, you get 450.63. And you're going to have a contraction of volume. That's the B to C of a small ABC structure on the way down. Uh, if we do this number, let's see what we have. You got 62... 43. Yeah, ooh, that's 20 points. Okay, so you got 20, which gets you 430. Next stop. That would make sense, because there's that big bar. So the big, the ABC structure, if we blow away that B with volume next week, the top of that big volume day when we came off the bottom is going to be 435. Your ABC structure is 430. Um, so that's basically saying that, hey, guess what? This thing uh, wants to go down into those levels. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs, which is weaker than the S&P. What you have with the three Qs is this. Three Qs, down 440, get 48 million shares traded. Bottom line, you know, we went to lower price yesterday. It's gonna be a lower low today. Uh, now, this is where this gets really into, oh, okay, so there's the number, 340. So that high volume bar is 340 inside the queues. So I'd say that's gonna be the next place that you're gonna get any type of support. Now what will happen is this, the way, okay, so next week you gotta calendar wise, you gotta have a four day work week, okay? So you're gonna get big action Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday will slow down. And you know, so the bottom line is if we come down hard and fast Monday, Tuesday, do a little bounce Wednesday, Thursday, it's gonna be problematic. That's gonna be basically set up the next low inside of the marketplace. Gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? You finally got caught a bid in the gold contract, but we're gonna still need more volume. Um, you know, 
What we did have happen out here today is that the gold stock stopped moving even before the dollar gave it up. So it was really intriguing when you're basically looking at this market. It's like, okay, man, you know, the dollar is almost not making all-time highs, but it was up there. It was up there good. Uh, gold, you know, picked its nose up uh, out of the last five days. We're going to need more volume, though. You got 133,000 contracts. You need more volume than that. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. Inside the silver market right now, not bad. Still needs more, too. We get 45,000 in the silver market. You want to basically see 60, 70,000 inside the silver market. We certainly did come back to the breakout area Wednesday. You rejected lower price. Now the bottom line, you need some juice. And good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar out here. What we have with King Dollar is that you got all the way up to 100.189 and then just gave it up in spades. Let me just see this for a second. I'm intraday. Okay, so... Yeah, it just, just went south in two seconds. So let me, I'm gonna bring this up to the swings, move this back a little. Cause this 102 and you know, 103 were, were game. Okay, so now 99, 840. Okay, so even on a weekly, it's still gonna be over that swing high. So yeah, this still, this still can go for the highs. The amazing part, folks, is that what you have is that the dollar is basically getting into highs and gold is, is continuing going up. All we need is this dollar move to change just a bit and go down and you're gonna see gold explode, man. Um, so inside of the 10 year, nope, bottom line, 117 is game. Right now you're at 120. You know, we broke down we had some big price moves on the way down and I expect you're gonna continue to see that. Right now the 10 year, is yielding 2.71 so uh that no doubt is some real juice uh inside of that let's go take a look at uh twi so twi this is uh titan international trade in 1317 and the low for the year is 669 the high is 15. okay so there's no doubt it had a nice run four months now you're back to okay so once so what happened with this, the real question was, is this, is this dragging down with the rest of the market? I think this finished the ABC structure up. One second, 11, 97, seven, that's five, which is 14, 22, it hit 15. Yeah, this finished, this, what this did, this, when you finish an ABC up, you're gonna do something other most times than continue higher. So what you have here is this, you're pulling back, you are pulling back with light volume. You could actually come back to the breakout area. It doesn't look like a wants to, but the breakout area, and this is like 12.15, thus far I did 12.90. And I suspect at that point you'll build cause and once again for higher price. You know, you can see that the potash stocks are going to the moon, that IPI, you know, there's, there's, you know, fertilizer folks is going to go up dramatically because the bottom line is that you have basically a food crisis, and then on top of that, you have that most of the fertilizer has come out of Russia, and that's not going to happen. So, um, more demand, less supply. Dow Industrials right now up 211. You get the NASDAQ down 123. S&P is up one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best with you, Huey, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 247. NASDAQ's down 111. S&P's up 6.5. And, a half. and uh, in St. Pete, we got a beautiful day today, Best with Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Isn't it? I just uh, can't believe how nice it is. We've got to be out there all the time. It, it, what happened, folks, we had a cold front that came in last night, and uh, it's like 72 degrees out. So it's like heaven on earth. Yeah, uh, it's just... It's just as good as it gets. It, it is as good as it gets. So today, folks, in the real estate segment, we are going to be talking about selling. Now, we know the bottom line is that depending what community you live in, <laughs> um, you know, it is a seller's market. There's no doubt about that. But that being said, you know, there's, there's things and, you know, some of the things that you've heard before that you should do when you're moving the house out. We want to emphasize more than anything, please do them. Because we know the good, the bad, and the ugly. We've seen enough houses go out there. Um, and we've seen, unfortunately, people that have worked really hard to get the house. They've done work on the house. And then all of a sudden, at the end, they get tired, right? Yeah. And it's brutal. We'll, we'll talk about that in a few more minutes. But it, it is brutal, folks, OK? And, and we're talking about in this market, too. We're, I'm giving you, like, right now, OK? And the difference is dramatic. And I can tell you personally, you know, I don't put any house on the market without that thing being pristine. It's worth it. I don't care whether it's another 5,000, 7,000, whatever it has to be. Because what happens is that when people come in, and especially in a market like this, well, any market, you, my take is that you're going to get more money for it. In a market like this, what ends up happening, they'll bid it up, man. Yeah. That's the bottom line, yeah, you know. Low, low inventory, they have no choice. Low inventory. So we're going to start. You know, at the beginning. So, what's you know, what are the first things? Well, first thing you wanna you wanna prepare the house, right? Uh, just declare the house, right? Because what happens is people have, you know, over the years you accumulate a lot of stuff and you have no idea. How it's the Steve have. Martin, it, you know, joke. How much stuff we have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just gotta declutter. Right. So that's the first thing. Kind of wanna like a. a, a a clean slate in the house. A neutral. Yeah, yeah. neutral. Very neutral. Right. So you just want to have a few things, but not too much. Yeah, no doubt. And when we when we talk about that, folks, okay, the the aspect is you, you got to remember something. Some people coming in, and if your house is not decluttered, they won't be able to think. It's just like 
you haven't decluttered anything you can't think. You're gonna, you, your eyes go one way, your eyes go another way, okay? Yeah. Um, so that's crucial. Yeah, they're trying to like picture their own belongings in the house. Sure. So there's too much stuff in there. They're trying to like. Sure. To do it. So, right. Yeah. And then, okay, so then the next thing, and I know you've heard this one before, curb appeal. Curb appeal. Talk to me about per curb appeal. Curb appeal is one of the biggest things you you got to do for the house, right? right. So uh, most people, you know, I've had this happen before where people just drove up to the house, they didn't like the outside, and they're like, I don't even want to see it. Off. That's pretty wild. So it's kind of crazy, right? right. And especially now where you know everything is online, so people constantly look at yes, pictures. yes. And so if it doesn't look right, they're just gonna you know, go right through it. Right. So you just you know you got mow the lawn, you know, new mulch. Right. You know, a layer of some new plants. New plants here and right. there. Maybe a layer of paint. You know, yeah. So it doesn't look too bad. Right. right. Yeah. The front door, depending where you are, folks. Okay, it, it's really crucial that the curb appeal is huge and that you have some plants out there well d depending where you are i mean if you're in the middle of the winter in you know boston you're not gonna have plants out there yeah. um but or, you know you have a condo or something, yeah something. but if you're in florida if you're in warmer climates people want to see plants even if they this is what i've found there's plenty of people you don't hear it as much anymore but i've you know that oh i don't want to take care of these plants i don't want to do that plants are living folks okay when people get near them, they love it, okay? I, I've, I've, I literally haven't found anyone that if you can get them in a bunch of plants, if they say they only want rocks and cement, well, <laughs> that's a problem, man, <laughs> okay? Because, you know, the bottom line is that you want to be near that liveliness. You want to feel it. You want to yeah. feel that oxygen, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it totally is a different deal. It feels good and feels like you're home. And now this is a big one that you have down here, too is pressure washing, folks. Yeah. I w you know what, I wish I just took a picture. I just pressure washed uh, a deck yesterday, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, have you, you haven't seen it yet, have, seen right? It yet. Well, let me tell you something, folks. Uh, most pressure washers, okay, meaning you want to hire someone that has one of those heavy-duty ones. They're only going to charge you 100 or 200 bucks or something, right? You can take a piece of wood, uh, particularly decks. If, before you go make a deck that you, you might be buying a house and you might think that deck is the worst thing in the world, um, guess what? A good pressure washer just changes everything. I mean, I just did one literally yesterday, um, and I couldn't even believe it. And I've done plenty of them. And it's like, yeah. you've got to be kidding me. Gives a new life. It's huge. Yeah. And you should pressure wash the house. And what you have in there is the driveways. The dri driveways. If you have driveways, Get those things done because right off the bat, you're, you're walking in. As you're walking in, um, you know, the, the people are feeling really good. There's no doubt about that. Well, you know, even the bungalow, which you did with the, the new wood out there. Yes. That's, that's amazing. What, what I do a lot, folks, is this. I love wood. So I use a lot of cedar, and I will rip. On the new houses, what I do is I'll, you know, you got the stucco, and then I use a lot of wood. I'll, I'll design the cedar around them because it's two different things that are happening. In Florida, um, bugs, including termites, just don't go into cedar. That's how, that's how it works, okay? They have, it's good forever. Yeah. Um, so I use a lot of cedar, and it makes a dramatic difference. And yeah, you know, it's got more expensive, but the bottom line is that, you know, people will pay for it. They, they know they get something good. Yeah. Um, as best we're just saying, I just ripped apart a bungalow, uh, 1924 bungalow, and it's insane now. I mean, because what what also ends up happening is that if if and this is this is something you always want to understand, higher roofs or ceilings over your head, okay, is space that you were already paid for. So the the way that you got to look at a house, this is the way I look at a house. You know, you look at it at every square foot, including the cube. You paid for the cube. Yeah. So if you have a, if you have a, um, like this happened to be a porch, right? So the porch, it was still a nice porch, but the bottom line, I wanted to, I knew that I could rip up another, you know, basically 11 to 12 inches in the top. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, I mean, you're like 6'3 or 6'4 or something, right? 6'2, yeah. Okay, so the bottom line is that, us little guys, the big guys, they'll walk in there and they'll feel amazing, yeah. okay? So when you're doing that, don't just take the wood down, okay, and put and replace it. Take the wood down 
and brace it. it and it's just as easy to bring it up, you know, as, as high as you can. That's what I do to every, yeah. every one of them. Do you know what I mean? Feels yeah, it's, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah, I mean, uh, the value that added to the house. You know, right. I can't even you know, point to it, but it's got to be at least. No, I know. I mean, it, and it's it's dramatic. I mean, the, what's what's happening? We got some painters up there doing it right now. And the painter himself can't even believe what he just saw. Yeah. And he didn't do it. I, we did it before he got in there. Yeah. But it's it's intriguing. You know, the whatever's over your head feels great. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 227. You get the Nasdaq down 133. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up 240. You get the NASDAQ down 130. S&P's up uh, uh, three and a half. We're going to bring Best Bit Vet back, folks. Uh, but unfortunately, that uh, Mike uh, wasn't... Uh, Working for some reason, a little technical uh, difficulty. So uh, the next segment, we're going to we'll try to get him back, and uh, we will continue on about uh, the selling. We had a couple comments, and, and this this one here, uh, it, it, Tom. Like, see, let's see. We, do you ever see the Florida market, uh, Florida housing market, going ever cooling? Okay, I'm going to tell you a great story, folks. Okay, and this is about the Florida market. This is about market, Florida markets in general and about real estate. 
Okay, so I've been doing this a long time. The, the first place I built was in 1988. I built six units. I sold, this is, it was a hot market. I, I built six units. That wasn't the first one I built. I built a couple singles before that, but this one I built six units. I sold them all within one day, 250,000 apiece. And guess what? A year later, folks, they were worth 125,000 apiece. This, this is on the water in South Boston. Now those buildings, yes, they're worth eight or 900,000 apiece, okay? Now, now I'm gonna fast forward you to um, 2005 or six. For the folks that have been listening for a long time, they know that I was waiting for, waiting, waiting. I don't think any of us knew that the crash was gonna be so dramatic that everything was gonna go down. But I was at a, a cocktail party and you know, in Florida, you know, we live in a very nice place, okay? There's, you know, the bottom line, you get a lot of water, you get canals, you get all of this, okay? So the bottom line, we're, you know, at, a, at another builder's house, okay? This guy builds, uh, you know, Walmarts, and, no, Walgreens, uh, you know, the drugstores and Publix and all this. So the bottom line is that we're there, and um, a couple of these guys were talking about the aspect that Florida real estate and waterfront never goes down. And, you know, bottom line is that I, I was trying to keep my mouth shut. And, and I did in the context that, as to being polite, I just said, hey, listen, man, I, you know, I think this could go down too. And I didn't want to go through the whole rigmarole that I'd already been through a cycle because I didn't really know those people well enough, right? So bottom line, though, I, I, I get out of there and I realize that, oh, my God, okay, these people have never been through a cycle, right? Because to say that Florida waterfront will never go down, they just don't get it. The same story in Boston when I was saying that those units went from 250 to 150. Every, okay, so Boston got hit, New York got hit, Orange County got hit, Florida got hit, Alaska got hit, and Dallas got hit. They all, they all got cut, folks. And the 89 to 92 deal was as bad as the 2007 deal. The difference was is that it hit different parts of the country. Okay, so now I'm gonna fast forward to right now, okay? So check it out. 2007, 2008, we had the fund. I had the fund. We also bought, I also bought personally, huge amount of property, okay? I've been selling into this for a year. That's the bottom line. And what has happened, is, so the way St. Petersburg works, you, you have this huge core and as I've been doing that, it's, it's like you're making your portfolio better and better. So now I own basically everything I own is really prime. It's prime downtown. That's the bottom line. Because what happens on any downdrafts, the primer properties will go down less. And now I'm going to answer your question about the text, about the aspect, will Florida property ever go down? Yes, it will. <laughs> My take right now is that we, interest rates are going up. Property's also going to get hit. Now the kicker is going to be this. Now this, the, you know, this I can be totally wrong, and I'll be crying next year if I'm wrong because I've been selling into this for a year basically. Um, so we've done a scale, okay? Bestford that was just next to you right here. We did a scale. He did a scale. He did a scale. This is uh, five years ago because I wanted, you know, seven or eight years ago. I wanted to see as the and this is, you see, you know what's so cool about being in the real estate market and being in the stock market and the bond market is that you feel like you get a little better edge. So what we did is this. We put the spreadsheet together, and you know I'm all about price and volume. So what you saw, the 2007-2008 the to me was easier to see because there's so, much, so many fraudulent deals, right? But let me cut to the chase. So when we put the spreadsheet together, what you had is this. You had sales going up, up, up. No, no, I'm sorry. Prices going up, 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 and sales going down, down, down before it fell off the cliff. Well, guess what, folks? That's exactly what we have happening right now. You hear the aspect that, you know, there's nothing for sale. You know, right now, Bestford, he's just, <laughs> hopefully he'll get this place today. He's, he's bidding on a, one place for 1.2 million, another one, 1.1 million. We'll find out whether he gets it or not. Um, my point is, is this, when rates go that dramatically higher and you see that the prices continue up and the sales continue down, most times what's going to happen is that 
it'll fall off the cliff. That's one side of it. Now, that's the bearish side of it. That's the side that I'm on right now. That's where my head's at, okay? The bull side would be that when we look at our sales, it's continual cash, cash, cash. So the real question there is, is that interest rates, do they really matter? They will matter because the, the, re the, reason, the reason that they matter is even if people pay in cash, the reason that they matter because at some point there's going to be a resetting of these prices. Okay. Now, that being said and done, the, the, the real question is, okay, well, where does it go? Is it 5%? Is it 10%? You know, if you're in this market, what you want to make sure you do is two different things. You're going to make sure that you have plenty of cash. You're going to make sure that your debt structure, your cash flow is high, much higher than your debt structure. And you want to keep a debt structure really low. And that whatever you have, you are going to want and keep for five to seven years. Because my take is this. My take is that we're at the top right now. And that you're going to, what you're going to end up seeing is that this baby's going to, you know, pull down somewhat. Okay, could be down to 20%, okay? And if that's the case, you, you'll pull down, you'll, you'll level out for a bit, and then it'll be another five years before we're back to where we are right now. So, um, it's kind of like the, uh, you know, the, say, the saying that Dave uh, White has on the air, sell when you can, not when you have to, that's really important. In my particular case, I definitely had to sell into it. Um, meaning, because there's no, well, I had a lot of real estate, that's the bottom line. But, but, I still have a lot, but the bottom line is that yes, um, in my head is that we are going to be in a correction, and every switch, which way that I twist this in my head, um, it's there, <laughs> and it, and no one, believe me, right now I just put another couple places up. They're going to be gone this afternoon. <laughs> so, you know that that's the market we're still in. But I've seen it enough, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not going to matter because. Then, if I'm, you know, it is, it is what it is. If I'm right, then guess what? I'm gonna rewind this whole freaking thing again, and just do the whole thing over again, you know. So, it's be prudent. If I could say anything, be prudent. Don't be out there bidding, bidding, bidding all the way up. Okay, get over your head. Don't do it. And I know this is a lot harder for some of the younger people because you haven't seen it before. I've seen three of these, so they always kind of, you know. Well, here, here's the cut to the chase. Real estate is worth what you can sign for, really. The cash is going to be gone. And guess what? What you can sign for, rate-wise, is going up dramatically. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 192. You get the NASDAQ down 155. S&Ps are up four. And yeah, folks, uh, that, was quite a, it's quite, that was quite a spiel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's just like the market, folks, okay? You know, the bottom line, they're, they're in cycles, and you got to be prepared for cycles, and you can't get greedy. That's the big freaking deal here, man. That is the biggest deal. So we got Bessford back. We are going to talk at pricing. Now, the pricing of a house is crucial to really understand, you know. So talk to me about pricing. Prices. So, yeah, you know, this is the most important part of uh, selling a house right. is pricing because everybody thinks their house is worth way more than it actually is. Right. You know, there's a, there's a few cases where it's the opposite, but generally. Because it's when you're personal house. When you're an investor, yeah. it's different. Yeah. But when you're, personal, there's no you're doubt. Like, hey, there's this no is doubt. the best right. house on the block. Right. You know, we're going to get this much. Exactly. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors, you know, when pricing the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, all the factors are in, right? Roof, AC, right. layout, how old it is, uh, you know, what's sold in the area. So, so these right. are big things to take a look at it. So and you got to have somebody that's experienced. And that's able to uh, to price it right and understand it exactly. Because yeah. so what happens, folks, is this: that when you're certain areas, I mean, there's certain areas you you're totally an expert at. Like we're experts in St. Pete. Period. I mean, the, and probably in Bel Air, Bella Bluffs up there. You yeah, Bel Air, Clearwater. Clearwater. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what ends up happening, you know, two different things. You know, who is out there right now that's looking and and where their budgets are, and that's important to know. That's that's good information. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. Especially if you're working like that, with buyers. The yeah. place that you're talking about today, this this this, this is beautiful condo. Now these are overlooking the water, folks, down the beach that Best was dealing with today, and it's amazing. Everyone wants in this building. Yeah. Because last night there was nothing. Today is three. One yeah. already went. Yeah. <laughs> right. Less than twenty four hours. Less than twenty four hours. One point nine million. Yeah. Okay. So. You, when you understand that, that that is a building that everyone likes. Not everyone, but a lot of people like. Most people, yeah. Y y you want to know it, okay? So you have someone, are they getting in the car or the plane? They're, they're coming right down. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're flying down They're tomorrow, flying down, so, you know. From the so that is huge, understanding that, because then you can understand, if you're the seller, you understand what to put on the market. If you're in the buyer, in this particular case, someone coming in, you know what they go for. Now, one of the hardest things on that, right, if you're the buyer, they want 1.2 for this, and the real question is, is that you know, we don't. What do you got to offer them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this is where you got to, you know, call the other agent and try to get a feel, uh, what this thing is really going to go for, if there are other offers or not. So, right. So that's huge. Now, so, now what Bestford just brought up, folks, this is, we think Bestford and I think this is one of the biggest things out there, because what happens is that neither Bestford or I text when we're doing deals, okay? Yeah. And I understand the texting's there and all this stuff, but guess what, man? I want to hear the person's voice. That's uh, you know, huge. And we ask them the questions, okay? And you would be really surprised how much information they give you, right? Yeah. You know, and, you know, when they give you information about the context of, you know, this or that, it's, it's, um, it's unbelievable, it's actually. Huge. Yeah, tens of thousands of dollars. In this case, we're talking, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, so, right. Uh, yeah, the, the text, and, uh, you know, you can't get a feel through text. No, you can't. You got to hear the voice, you know, kind of see yeah. what they have to so, say. So if you're getting a broker, ask the broker flat out, well, how do you, do you talk to the other brokers? 
Yeah. You know, because we, this what just happened, anecdotally, this is exactly what just happened. Before we just came downstairs, we have two floors here, okay? Real yeah. estate's upstairs, we have studios downstairs, and this is what ended up happening. Bestman texts the person, no, calls the person, she doesn't answer the phone, texts, and she gonna te he texts right back, and right I thought back. I was seeing things, man. Yeah. And we're talking about a $1.2 million pad here. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not, it's, it's like, yeah. It you doesn't answer make the phone. Right, exactly. Because you can make your clients a lot more money, too, by talking. So, right, right. You know, you got to tell them what's going on. Exactly. Because, you know, if I, if I don't know what's going on, then the buyers might not even make an offer. Right. Because they're like, I don't know what, what the hell is going on. No, no, totally. Yeah, so. Now, the next thing we bring up, we, we know that in the Tigers down, I see a couple of people that they're actually, they're, they're glad we're doing this because they're selling their house, okay? Oh, nice. And this part here, folks, okay, this is what I want you to do. And this has to do with pictures of your house, okay? It's crucial. You're gonna see, and if you go on Zillow, go on realtor.com, right? And take a look at the pictures that are on there. And then find in your area a photographer that actually does real estate. We, we know the difference. We, I have had a couple really great photographers but we get a phenomenal one now. If you look at any of our pictures, there it's insane. Okay, yeah. and it has to do, and and trust me, this is not more expensive than another photographer either. Yeah, because it has to do with the camera they have and the angles they have, and understanding light. Yeah, that's and getting the, the right it, angles. It, it, exactly, yeah. because you remember, like everything is relative as to what it's next to. Yeah. And that's from my beautiful Bridget. That's who trained me on this. And yeah. it's so true, man. I mean, I'm telling you, the, the light structures are totally different. So it's, what is next to? And that'll make a huge difference as to the, about, uh, the number of people that call you or come to the house. It won't mean the sale, but it will, it's going to be, instead of four people, you get 10. Yeah. That, and then if it looks like what you have out there, which the pictures do. I mean, they, they're, they're more realistic, okay? Yeah. And I'm talking about realistic pictures. I'm not talking about the ones that get enhanced, okay? Yeah, you yeah. Know? We don't want enhancement. No, yeah, no. We want to show the true... Exactly. The exactly. true uh, house. Okay, now let's get to the office and picking the right offer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is huge. Isn't it? You know, trying to figure out which person is going to close right. is like... It's huge, especially right now. Right. Because you get a lot of these brokers that are just trying to put your house under contract and sell it to somebody else. Yep. For a profit. Sure. Yeah. So that's a big one you got to worry about. And then if it's financed, <clears throat> you got to know how strong these guys are. So right. you got to call the lender, say, hey. So you call the lender when it's financed, exactly. Yeah, so and hey. you want to know how strong their credit is, how, you know, will they be able to close this loan? Yeah, where are they in the process? Do yeah. they just start or, you know, Right. They already finished everything and right. they're almost ready to close. Right. So that, that's huge. And, you know, just getting a feel from the other agent as well. It like, is. Hey, and you know, and I can tell you, it? what ends up happening, folks, in this market, what could very well happen, that I just moved a house, what, a month ago now, right? Yeah. And what happened was this, is that we sold it in a day. We had a lot of people there. Um, it sold at 9.30, I think, right? Uh, nine, nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. So yeah. nine and a quarter cash. This would end up happening. I got a bid, a strong bid, at 9.60. Yeah. Right? And it was a strong bid, folks, okay? But the difference is that a cash bid of nine and a quarter versus a 960 with a 20% down, you have to decide what's good for you, but I would suggest that you, you take a look, you know, cash is cash. Cash is cash, and then <laughs> and, you got the appraisal. Yeah, you got the appraisal, that's right. So and, that's, and in this case, they, they wanted to close and wanted Week and a half. That wasn't saying. Oh actually. yeah, yeah. Just no inspection. <laughs> and, nothing. Just and it's like, yeah, there was no, there was no inspection. Close it a week and a half. You get the gist of it. It's important to go through that, the, all of that structure though, um, because then guess what? Then it's money in your account that you've worked for for a long period of time. Stay right there, folks. To come back, this market's not holding price. That's the bottom line. Asset prices. Guess what? We're not going to sell anything after this program. <laughs> no, listen, we're doing this for a couple different reasons. We love the markets. We love real estate. We like talking about it. Um, and we're going to, you know, you, you run it up, you run it down, folks. Okay, if you've learned anything, you know, about TFNN, you know, we like both sides of the market. Yeah. Get ready for the next market. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Best and I are coming right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to our man, Andy, in Colorado. Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. Hey, thanks for having me, Pastor Don, again, and uh, extremely insightful topics. I really, really appreciate it. Um, definitely helps me feel out what I want to do, and I think I'm just going to hold on to my money makers <laughs> a little bit longer. Yeah, no, listen. Them, but uh, I really appreciate the advice you got. Um, and I'm so to I'm so off topic, but Tom, I was wanting to uh, get your thoughts on Boeing and, and basically the fundamentals um, as far as where it's at. I mean, I've been writing it down, and it's probably looking like it's going to fill in that gap at 160. Um, Let's take a look at it. So you get Boeing going after. Oh yeah, I see what you're looking at. Okay, 175 on the weekly. Yeah, I got it. Well. Yeah, I think that's where you're going, man. I mean, let's take a look at, you know. You know, it was so wild, you know, Andy, about Boeing in general. I mean, you know, like last year they did $62 billion. They're supposed to do $91 billion this year. I mean, if they do $91 billion, what they're saying, you know. Oh, yeah, but see what's going on here? Yeah, you got to be careful, man. This is Boeing. You're paying $50 for a dollar. Yeah, it's 50 to 1. Well, they don't even, they don't even have a PE. They're still losing money, right? Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. So fundamentally, though, I mean, I, I thought that they might get a pop, um, unfortunately, because of what's been happening and, and just never really happened. Um, do you think even uh, going into this recession, it's just probably best just to stay away? 
I, it depends on how long, you know, you can handle this, okay? Because Boeing, you know, is Boeing, meaning that you don't have another Boeing out there. Um, you know, so this is not going to last forever. That being said, though, it's like, okay, they're losing money. I mean, I don't think any of us thought it would last this long. Do you know what I'm saying? That I really don't, you know? I mean, for yeah. where they were and where they are now, it's pretty intense, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks again, Okay, Tom. man. Have a great weekend. Thanks have a great one. Out. Have a Appreciate safe it. one. And folks, if you got any real estate questions, stock tip questions, give us, give us an email. Give us a call, man. We're going to be doing this every Friday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come visit Tommy uh, Monday morning. 9 o'clock kicks us off. Look at him, folks.